While the uh, Children's Rights Impact Assessment states that the new curriculum has regard to the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, we were quite surprised that the bill doesn't have it on the, on the face of it, uh, unlike other pieces of legislation in Wales. And we really think it's important to enshrine that right on the face of the bill. So our recommendation would be that um, that would be done as it passes through um, committee stage. We also know that human rights education is crucially important and we recommend that the human rights education is added to the general Im implications requirement um, as set out in clause 30 of the bill. So that would be um, education about human rights, through human rights and for human rights to give a really holistic approach. We also think that to ensure that the curriculum is suitable for pupils or learners of all age, all ability and all aptitude, that particular attention needs to be paid to the different characteristics, different children with different protected characteristics. And of course, some of those children have intersectional characteristics must be taken into account because we know that some learners find it more difficult to access the curriculum. Disabled children, some children from ethnic minorities find it very difficult to access parts of the curriculum. So it's really important they're supported, that they're supported so that they get the same opportunities as their peers. We also know that our school population in terms of staff and pupils is very different and we would want to see the diversity of the staff matching and meeting the diversity of the children that are attending schools. As I said before, equality impact assessments are very important, as are child rights impact assessments. So at every step of the process, whether it's a, a head teacher in partnership with governors, whether it's a local authority working on the new curriculum, both those needs have to be taken into account to ensure maximum accessibility for all learners that share protected characteristics. So we're very pleased that we can make a contribution to this bill's passage. We think it's a really important key moment in the development of the curriculum for Wales, and it needs to be fit for the young people of today and the young people of the future. Thank you.